An innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal, an undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegal? The prime suspect charged in Lake and Riley's murder was 26-year-old Jose Antonio Abara. He's originally from Venezuela. He illegally entered the United States back in 2022. Nobody ever wants to see your child in the bathtub the way I found her. Nobody. The Texas grand jury indicted Rafael Govea Romero. He's accused of attacking 16-year-old Lizbeth Medina by repeatedly hitting her head and stabbing her. Police also say he took her phone after killing her and responded to text messages and used her social media. This Salvadoran migrant, illegally present according to ICE, his name is Nilson Granados Trejo, accused of murdering, killing a tragic death of a two-year-old infant. Detectives say Jose Talamantes blew through a stop sign at more than 50 miles an hour hitting motorcyclist David Hadrich. In Kenner, Louisiana, a Honduran migrant accused of raping at knife point a 14 year old teenage girl local media in virginia are reporting about a venezuelan illegal immigrant there who has been arrested for sexual assault reports say the individual crossed into el paso texas last september and was released into the u.s nypd making two more arrests illegal immigrants and that attack on officers. A fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. Why aren't they in jail right now? They brutally attacked a New York City police officer and a lieutenant. This video doorbell footage shows a migrant stealing a pro-Israel flag from a Jewish family's Long Island home. And one of the members of this family, by the way, lost a relative in the October 7th terrorist attack by Hamas. The migrant immediately began punching him in the head. You see it there. Put him in a chokehold, headbutted him at least once. That's all according to the homeowner and threw him to the ground. I believe that fentanyl is the greatest threat to Americans today. Between the ages of 18 and 45, more Americans are dying from drug poisonings, fentanyl and meth, than from cancer, than from COVID, than from car accidents, than from terrorism. 100,000 die every year and nothing's being done not enough is being done numbers are going up not down you talk about children being taken away from their parents my children were taken away from me <laughs> there are two cartels in mexico the sinaloa cartel and the jalisco new generation cartel that are killing americans with fentanyl at catastrophic and record rates like we have never seen before. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country.